All right, you're good. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Dr. Cloud here. Welcome back to another episode of the Black and White Soul Link Nuzlocke Challenge with my partner, Sleeve Card, here. Introduce yourself. All right, so in the last episode, if you guys saw, if you didn't, then you what's going on, guys? In the playlist in the description down below and check that out and see what happened. But um, we had a little bit of a mishap. But uh, to start out, we're going to go over ahead and do a team recap to show you guys uh, what we're looking like now. So sleeve card's gonna lead it off for us. All right, guys. So we did have to do a little off-screen grinding, and we of course had to swap out our pairing just a bit, or all all of a bit. So after a little bit of screen grinding, uh, I went through the forest, and we are now rocking out with our level eleven aquifer, the Swana. Uh, that is a bashful nature, nice and bashful, which is neutral, so it does absolutely nothing for us. Uh, but rocking out with Water Gun, Water Sport, Defog, and Wing Attack. So, not too bad. I uh, do also have a Rocky Helmet that I picked up, kind of through my journeys. So, we're going to slap on the Rocky Helmet as well, just to give us a little bit of extra chip damage. And so, that way, Aquaphor is holding something. Aquifer and who is Aquifer the Swana right, yeah, paired up with Dr. Cloud? That quirky nature, which I actually don't know what that does. Um, I think it's a neutral nature, actually. Isn't that interesting? We both have neutral natures there. Uh, but Michael has Peck, Lear, Focus Energy, and a new I'm so thrilled. <laughs> with that rivalry ability, which, you know, sometimes helpful, sometimes not, just how it goes. But anyways, holding that King's Rock for those extra flinches. And uh, you may notice we're like we're in two different spots here. So we're gonna have sleep card over here. Go ahead and battle Bianca because I had done that in the last episode because I was a little bit ahead of him and made a mistake going too far. And I'm gonna check out the town and look for some items for you guys. All right, so let's see what Bianca has in store. Uh, we do know that she has Snover, so Snover is gonna be one. She picks up a second Mon, though, I believe, for this battle. So, hopefully it's nothing too ridiculous. Uh, when Doc faced her, she had a Charizard. So, Charizard and Arcanine for her. For us, she has... Oh, and Ariados. Okay. Ariados we can handle. Wing attack, no problem. You got really lucky over there. I did. We were, we were discussing this off-screen, guys, uh, but... I, we were, or me in particular, but we were kind of jointly concerned that she was going to have some electric type. Pretty much any electric type would destroy Swana. But we one hit KO the Eridos. Now we got to see what Snover's got going on. Oh, and the other thing, guys. So the reason we got up to level 11 uh, was our goal was to get up to level 10. And that's because we want to possibly take on... The uh, gym leaders today, it just depends on how long everything runs, but we want to take on the gym leaders today, and they are level 12, level 14, so we wanted to be roughly on par, so we want to be on par, that way we're at least competitive with the gym leaders, uh, as opposed to trying to go at them with a level 5 Nidorino and a level 2 Swana that we left off last time. To get up to level 11 as is, because it starts out with Peck and Leer. And with that rivalry ability backing it up, it's just, it's a hassle getting this thing up. <sighs> yeah, he's he's not kidding, by the way, because in the time we were grinding, I went from level 2 to level 11 in the same time it took for him to go from level 5 to, like, level 7. So, it, there is definitely a hassle... Uh, grinding with that just because Peck does absolutely nothing. Alright. Still isn't stab, but I think it's more useful. <laughs> Alright, so I am ready to rock oh, and roll. Over there? Let's see what this guy in front of the gym has to say. Well, uh, yeah, I don't know that he says anything right? important, but I think he tells us a little bit about the gym leader. Okay, I just got the Dusk Ball. Some guy gives us Dust Ball hiding out behind uh, the buildings. A little shady freaking guy. Two randomized items. Ooh, I do too. 
Oh, I do like the randomized items. I got a rocky helmet. I mean, I hopefully we get something good. Are you, are you looking for the gym leader? He's not here. He could be in the trainer's school, though. If you want to challenge him, please go find him. The trainer's school is not far from this gym. This very gym! Okay, so... Obviously, we do need to go to the trainer's school in order to get our encounter on with the gym leader. But there is one other little matter that we have to pick up. Uh, and that is a static encounter that is just outside of town. So I think we want to take care of that uh, first, am I right? Alright. The full heal is inside the trainer school. Yeah, I got the great ball that's inside the house. And you just need to go, like, uh, below the city a little bit. And, yeah. And then there's the one to the route out to the left. Of the Ooh, I do see that one. Bottom of this maze. Alright guys, so I'm feeling Draco that's plate. That's, that's Let's see what we got. What is a Draco plate going to do for Ultra right ball. Now? Eh, it's not the worst thing in the world. Alright, alright. Yeah, if you... I don't know, I just want one. I guess the splash plate would yeah, that, technically that be better for me. But, I don't know. Maybe I want a Draco plate. Sure. Uh, the sky plate? I think right, that's the sky plate. I, let's go with that. Yeah, so you know what's weird? I'm in the little maze. Fun fact, though, I got a rock incense, which is what, for Bonsly to pseudo Widow? That's good to know. But you know what's weird is, like, this little hay hedge maze they have out here. For some reason, they have chickens. Like, I get the Pikachus, but why the chicken? Torchic no, is a chicken. I, I mean, I would qualify it as a chicken. How about that? So it's just a chicken with, like, very long legs? Sure. That's a, that's a disturbing image now that I have it in my head. Yes. Like, <laughs> that's exactly yeah, this is a very wanna, like, tall like a chicken. Like a chicken right on stilts. Now. Are you kidding me? So you get Magnemite, which hey, Double Kick is great too. for. I get Darkrai, is what's coming up against me. Yeah. My only solace is the fact that Darkrai is level 8, and I'm level 11. Also, assuming I can defeat this thing, I'm going to make some killer experience. I mean, you're not wrong. Then I'd be See? If you had a Moonstone right now, you wouldn't have to deal with this. This is true. I would be immune to electric. Yeah, you'd also be immune to ground. So, since I have the... Since I have the King's Rock, do you think when I use Double King... Yeah. Oh, yeah, immune to electric, yeah. flinching something? I wish I knew the answer to that. But I don't, because I think I think I heard somewhere that it only increases the crit for the first hit on a multi-hit. But I could be completely wrong. So, maybe. And of course, the second mod we're running across is a Moongus. And my wing attack is disabled by... Freaking Darkrai. Why, why did they make him a dark type? I, I get dark he does at level 8, light. apparently. Could have made him a ghost dark. Like, that was yeah, ghost, very ghost type would have been, you know, lovely. The one nice thing is I literally just added Rocky Helmet on this thing uh, when we did the team recap. And then I forgot about it somehow. About and now I'm getting Rocky Helmet chip damage off on this battle. I am happy about that. I'm also happy because my wing attack just go. disabled. And now I can slap this Amoongus with a wing attack. 
Yep, that, that's how it goes right And there. of course it affects spores me, so now I'm paralyzed. Alright, so... I, I see you're going on with the battle. I'm going to go heal up real quick, though, because I don't want to run the risk well, of I mean, a paralyzed mod getting wrecked by something. Yeah, I'm trucking back to the Pokemon Center because I, I have potions, but of course no Paralyze Heal. These people are going to send out because I, I just don't want to get bodied again by something. See, for you, my biggest concern, of course, would be that they send out, like, some psychic type. Because not only would Double Kick do absolutely nothing, this but of course it would be uh, super effective on you if they use a psychic move. I'm worried that I'm going to run across a freaking electric type and with my four times Don't weakness worry, I just got get absolutely so destroyed. I really fight back. Th that's true. That, that's true. Oh yeah. Get a stab move. You finally got a stab move. Look at it like that. Pure that's, stab that's rivalry no. poison oh, sting. I can, no, no, it's swab loon. I, I, I deserve some justice from the swab loon. I'll say poison sting. Yeah. <laughs> but Peck would do more, yeah. <laughs> I'm a Alright, let's see right what this now. guy has. So a Shuppet. Are you a... I'm almost there. I'm at level 12, but I'm like just a hair below 13. <laughs> you probably will. I'm gonna get a moonstone just to spite you. Like, you watch, that's how it's gonna happen. I'm gonna have a moonstone. I already have a Reaper Cloth, which I'll I never mean, use, and a Rock Incense, but, you know, which I'll never I'm use. Oh, yeah, oh, I wouldn't mind it. I'm just saying the odds of me getting it no, I, I like, okay, are slim. Okay. Alright. If nothing else, though, I just got rid of nice. Water Sport, and now I have Water Pulse, so I don't have to deal with Water uh, Gun anymore. I, I've already went back and healed. Oh, and, that is uh, nice. I'm going to run over there to the lady, and I'm going to wait for you to get out of that battle. That's fine. I'm dealing with an Arkin right now, which right, is not going to like my water pulse one bit. Arkin was, I was like, I feel like I know that name. Is he saying a name wrong of another Pokemon? Like, is it Arceus? <laughs> but I remember it's that. Yeah, that yeah, Arch Arceus. Yeah, the. I don't know what you want to call it. The fossil, that's what I was thinking of. That's the word, fossil. Oh man, that, that's so you had a Zoomeril that you faced off. I got a Zuril. I, I am well aware of that. Yeah, Zuril can't take a hit. I'll let you know right now. <laughs> no one, no one's complaining about sweeper bulky Azuril. All right, so the battle is done. Let me see what my item is, and then we can pick up our static. Run encounter. Around her. So speaking of items I will never I use, band, I got a focus band. Yep. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready to go. You can get the first encounter. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Okay, so barring me getting a water type, at least we have a fresh encounter for the team. What'd you get? Oh, all right. I got my electric type replaced. All right. I mean, I'm. I, I mean, have, have an elekid. You might have one by now. At level ten. Um. You have quick attack and I think light screen. This uh. This is true. Numel does have... Empathy. I'm just happy that we have a second pairing. That. 
You know, it's funny. So I laugh that you got a uh, a Numel, but when uh, Gen 3 originally came out, I actually didn't mind having camera upped. And the nice thing is, so you got a male Numel, I got a female oh, yeah, Elekid. Fantastic. Like, same with its mega form. Fantastic. The only thing with camera up is it's yeah, it gets it bodied a by a lot of common moves. Penetrate move set. Oh yeah, that. but right, like just the I think design wise, I really like it. Right. We are. So did you uh, get a chance uh, to take a look at your? Mod, Bleed by the way, and just see what it no what it had going on. It has a Oblivious. Ooh, a, that is power. I mean, I have another uh, neutral nature. Leer so and growl. Poof. I mean, uh, yeah, let me see what I have. Do we have stab? Soon. That's what I need to know. <laughs> Thunder punt? No. If it has Thunder Punch, I'm going to laugh. So we have an Adamant, a nice physical... Oh, we have Thundershock. So I have a physical Elekid with Quick Attack, Leer, and Thundershock. Yeah, but I also get Static, need, which is not the worst to ability to have. To evolve that all the way. I need to write this pair in real quick. Yeah. Numo That's why I just wrote mine down too. All right. All right. Yes, it is. All right, sir. Kick it off. Oh, it's my boy Sharon. <laughs> when a Pokemon is poisoned, its HP decreases while it's battling. Oh, hey, Doc and Sleeve. Have you come here looking for the gym leader? <coughs> he was here talking about Pokemon types until just a few minutes ago, but then he smelled your stanky behind showing up and left. Maybe you walked right past him. Oh, by the way, Doc and Sleeve, will you have a battle with me? I want to test how important items are in battles. Well, let's see how effective my items are anyways. Maybe you should learn how to get items. Or maybe I should test how well I can battle without items. I mean, anyway, whatever. This is an indoor match, so let's battle without getting wow. too rough. Don't be a Bianca on me. Oh, wow. <coughs> oh, boy. Oh, okay, my champ. No, no, no. Omar has Ember. I mean, technically you have Peck. <laughs> well, not on Omar. I was talking I'm about uh, terrified good old Nitto Reno has Peck. Synergy. Meanwhile, I'm just sweating it, having to deal with a Cubone that oh, gosh, is walking right into a stab water pulse. You have water oh, you know, I just realized, so now I have to deal with Moltres again. And I don't... Yeah, but I don't know what level this Moltres is. Also, watch this thing body me somehow. Somehow. Listen. I've done enough locks to know that if there's a way it will body me, it's gonna body me. It's definitely gonna outspeed, I feel like, because Swan is slow. Well, let's find out. So I'm going Water Pulse. Oh, I outspeed. Okay, but I'm also five levels level higher, level so two. I don't know. He's got the Hypno, naturally. I told you. I told you. What did you end up naming? Well, I did one-shot it, by the way. That makes a lot of sense. My Elekid's name is Stunner. You know, I was imagining it more like a Taser. She's a stunning gal. 
<laughs> I almost named her Buzzkill, but it's a uh, it's a female. Good. And I was like, yeah, it's I don't a, know if that works. Hypno has confusion, so I don't really want to switch out into my uh, Nidorino. I wouldn't, yeah. but it's chipping away at your uh, Omar there. Oh boy. You might want to start healing up. Just having a fun old time. If it, if it could not hypnosis me, that, that would be great, though. I'm not going to lie, I might be uh, kind of forced to switch into <laughs> Anita Reno. Especially when he disables my Ember. Oh boy. Disable, Hypnosis. Oh, and he gets the Confusion from Confusion. I, I actually don't have a choice. I, I, I'm going to have to switch out here. Uh, Sorry, I'm six levels Oh, above. after all the work I put in to Swana. Did 12 damage and got the Confusion again. Well, we're going to find out right now, aren't we? Uh... That's the thing. That's the thing. You can... Okay, so if it crits... If it gets a crit, you can still survive that as long as the confusion yeah. doesn't hit you. If the confusion hits, then you're uh, in some trouble. So the question is, do you risk it and hope he doesn't get a crit get or that you break through uh, confusion? Just sitting here. Because he's... Yeah, and you pretty much would have to have both happen. Like, you'd have yeah. to get hit with the I'm confusion plus him land a crit in order for okay, it to really hit, hit, hit you. I hit, through, I hit through. And I poisoned him. Awesome. Come there on. Alright, he used hypnosis. Okay. He used hypnosis. It's fine. There you go. Alright. Yep. That's fine. Heal up. You just heal up, let poison do its damage. So that's all you gotta worry about right now, is just let poison do its thing. Just keep getting littered away by that poison. <laughs> oh man. Okay. It's fine, it's fine. Mmm. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll use another potion. We're it good. still survived. I thought it was going to go down on this one. Down. We're, we're going to play this safe. Yeah. Well, you better, <laughs> uh... We better go heal up after this. That's, that's always the important thing. Alright. At least you took him out. Oh. Oh, Omar just learned magnitude. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. So, learning to use items well is definitely important then. I don't know how you defeated me, <coughs> cheaters. <coughs> oh, oh, here you go. Doc Sleeve, I'll give you these berries. Take my berries. If you give a Pokemon this kind of berry to hold, it will eat it to heal up when its HP goes down in battle. But if you give Pokemon man-made berries like potions to hold, they can't use them. Eh. Well, good luck then. You're gonna need it, because I took it easy on you, fool. Because... Yeah, I took it easy, because my Hypno actually had Psychic on it. Also, Dream Eater. Yeah. I don't know. That I don't need no more potions, but I'm definitely healing up. Yeah, but what if I need it? What if right, I get a uh, Pseudo Wudo and I'm like, oh, no, I need my Bond Warner? Sly? You know, you know, as, I, I just don't think as you know, right. all Nuzlocks are about breeding. Well, I'm, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. Yeah. I do. 
Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. All right. What's the plan, Stan? Yes. yes. All right. Let's do it. I am the gym leader of this town. You are right. You want to challenge the gym. In that case, what was the first Pokemon you chose? Slivy, I see. It's weak to fire type. I think you need to prepare to face that type. I'll be waiting for you inside. You know, out of curiosity, uh, what type is he going to use for you? Uh, he is going to use water type because technically I chose Tepig. Got my good fresh water. Which is all good. Oh, is that his, is that his name, Clyde? Oh, I got some fresh water from Clyde. What is the name of the uh, Thanks, Clyde. cowboy gym leader in this region? Yeah. Okay, I was thinking it was Clyde too because Clyde just sounds like a cowboy name. Uh, Clay. Oh, no. Nope, it is Clay. Ah, okay. So for those, because this episode never aired, you guys, uh, but when we were recording last time, the reason he says, oh, no, is because this is the exact mon that took out my starter, uh, Cloyster. Because, little known fact, but... Politoed at level like seven or whatever it was, runs Parish Song and Hypnosis. Um, hopefully, but these flinches. So hopefully like, you don't have to deal with that. Those, that'd be just perfect. I'd be completely fine. Well, you do have one other advantage, and that's the fact that you can swap out because when that happened to me, yeah, we only had one pairing. So I couldn't swap out at all. Against this water type does not seem like the best idea. And there's the parish song. I'm gonna try to. It's not. Wake up. There's the parish song. Meanwhile, by the way, my encounters. So meanwhile, my encounters with legendaries has continued. Oh my goodness! Now I'm facing off against a mesprit. Yeah, but... <laughs> oh, you still hanging in there, dude. The question is, so can I'm you take it out with one hit? Uh, parish count is on, is on uh, two currently. Alright, just... Alright, as long as you keep an eye on the parish count. Is it on two? Okay, for, for the sake of this... I'm Listen, dude, you better keep an eye on this parish count. <laughs> oh, gosh. No, no. I, I, had my, I had my potion Were you trapped open, in? And, um... I went over to use it on Omar. I said it had no effect, and it wasted my turn. Uh... That, that is what I am saying right now. So what you're saying is there goes Aquifer. That is what I'm saying. Who literally just hit level 15 and learned Aerial Ace. And, um... This is becoming a brutal, brutal Nuzlocke, by the way. This is episode uh, 3 and we've already we lost two pairs! Pair that we can go and grab. It's just that, um... That is true. It's not the best idea to uh Yeah. I mean, try to knock out the trainers, but we're just not not sitting good right now. I just don't yeah, things are not shaping up for why, us well, uh, let's just say that. Why it wouldn't give me, like, an extra chance to do a turn after I try to heal a Pokemon with full health. I, I just don't, I don't get that logic. No. No, I won't. And you never will. Um. Alright. 
Well, I think the, the best thing we can probably do here is go ahead and wrap up today's episode, grind up in the interim, I guess we're gonna have and to, and then uh, continue on with the gym the leader after. Yeah, I think that's the best we can do um, because right now, here's the thing, guys. I would love to go in and take on the gym leader. Like, I, I would love that because that makes a much more compelling and a better episode. But all you're going to see if we do that is us getting absolutely destroyed because the pairings that we have remaining right now have no experience, have pretty much no usable moves. So, I mean, and they're well under leveled too. So I think, like, he's, like we said, that's the best thing we can really do is just save today's episode and kind of continue from there right, uh, on Monday. So this has been Dr. Collette and Sleep Card. And uh, always remember, guys, uh, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. So please have some cherries. <laughs>